Today, we're looking at X-Men for the Sega Genesis. X-Men was released by Sega on the Sega Genesis in 1993. Magneto, a mutant plans to destroy the X-Men using a deadly computer virus. The X-Men, Wolverine, Gambit, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Storm, Iceman, Archangel, Jean Grey, and Rogue battle Magneto's secret base on Asteroid M. Remember, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps us this channel grow. And don't forget to hit the notification button for all future videos. So, is X-Men any good today? Here is our review of X-Men for the Sega Genesis. The plot is decent and better than normal superhero games. Magneto has decided to attack the X-Men on their own home, beaming a virus into the Danger Room. This puts the X-Men who are utilized the Danger Room in a serious danger, and they must figure out what is going on, escape, and eventually trace it back to Magneto, the source of the disruption. The dialogue throughout the game is appropriate, and the developers have deliberately created language for each character individually. Nightcrawler's German accent is rather humorous, keeping things varied and intriguing. Various X-Men can give you information about different locations. While there are certain changes that could have been made to the game's control system, it is well designed and easy to understand. You may navigate the game with simple assault and movement, jump, punch, kick, and use special powers. And the most switches and levers can be controlled by punching or kicking them. The characters will feel responsive, but anything requiring precision will be difficult to execute with them. Fortunately, there are a few moments in the game where you need to be that accurate. So the tools you have at your disposal in terms of control controls are ideal for the game, with not just four X-Men heroes to choose from, and the ability to pick and mix them up during stages to overcome various hurdles and hindrances, as well as to increase your chances of completing each level. There are a number of X-Men that provide cameo style assistance. Each one has a limited number of uses, but are helpful for example. Iceman can build you an ice bridge, Jean Grey can not save you if you fall down the bottom of the screen, and Rogue and Storm will attack some foes. There was one moment in the game where you are requested to do something I have never seen in any other Genesis title is physically reset your console to continue. The graphics in this game really show off the Genesis 16-bit capability. Characters are detailed, have decent animation, and are well colored, with a strong resemblance to their comic cartoon counterparts. The X-Men you can choose from all have unique skills and look fantastic, while the other ones you can't choose provide assistance in the forms of super attacks that look even better. The backgrounds and environments are all full of details that will make Marvel fans ecstatic. The backgrounds are nicely done, reflecting the settings perfectly, so the Savage Lands looks green and barren while Ahab's lair is dark and gloomy. You combat in places relevant to the various plot lines of the comics as well as a few from the animated series and they all look great. Some stages need you to step into the backdrop which all works perfectly on screen. The visual effects like explosions all look good and the sprite flicker is mostly deliberate so it's fine. There are a few instances of graphical flaws but none of them distract you from the enjoyment of the experience. The music is quite good. It is often gloomy and grim, which is appropriate given that you battle foes at every turn. I particularly enjoy the title of music and a Savage Land tribute piece. Both of them are pretty memorable. The sound effects are also good, from Wolverine's effect when unleashing his claws, to Cyclops' eye beams and beyond. There is a whistling wind sound, two company punches and kicks, creating a sensation of movement quickly. And while there is no digitalized voice in the game, the sounds that are present are all decent and clear enough. Now 
Now there are better looking and larger X-Men titles out there, as well as a few that boast this blend of characters in this sort of action platforming game, and none of them that have all the characters in this title. But overall, X-Men for the Sega Genesis is a solid title that you should enjoy playing, featuring decent graphics and music, as well as plenty of characters, some fully available and some just making cameo appearances in this game, and a variety of unique and exciting stages to battle in. You shouldn't be disappointed, even if it doesn't blow your mind. I still had a lot of fun with this game, and if you can't find a copy at a reasonable price, or if you are an X-Men fan, or if you're just looking for a platformer title to play, I would say get a copy. It's definitely worth checking out. X-Men for the Sega Genesis is getting 8.5 out of 10. What did you think about X-Men for the Sega Genesis? Please leave comments below to share your thoughts. That would do for this episode. And remember, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you here in the next video. Have a great day. Oh, <laughs>